that's good. Amen. Am I right about it? If he's real this morning, give him a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. Amen. We give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The end of our this life. And we thank God for the wonderful things he has done. Amen. And the greater things yet to you will do. Amen. Amen. I hope and pray Amen. that you are praying for each other as we go through these turbulent times. Yes. We are living in perilous times. Yes. Amen. We thank God and we have someone who holds the world in the palm of his hand. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you this morning. This morning we want to briefly take you to the book of 1 Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning with the twelfth verse. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, beginning with the twelfth verse. Amen. Amen. First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. Beginning with the twelfth verse. And it says, For the children of God. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them that labor among you, and are over you in the Lord, and abolish you, and to esteem them very highly in love for their works' sake. And be at peace among yourselves. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that unruly, comfort the fever minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. Right. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesying. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. Abstain from the appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you holy. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved, be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that called you, who also will do it. This morning, let your brother or sister and say, I'm working. I'm working. I'm working. For the Lord. For the Lord. On the other side. I'm working. I'm working. For the Lord. For the Lord. Amen. Now if you were last time. <laughs> <laughs> Stand up and rest like that. Amen. You may be seated. <laughs> Amen. Interesting facts. That we're looking at. First of all, I bring to your attention working for the Lord simply means that you have a job for the Lord. Each one of us in here and viewing with me have been given a gift, a talent. The question this morning is what have you done with the gift that God has given you? Amen. I thought some interesting things, and someone says, how often should I work for the Lord? And the Lord, it tells you that the Sabbath day, which we celebrate in our Christian term, Sunday, is a whole day to the Lord. I give a few of that. So. <laughs> the whole day belongs to the Lord. Amen. The whole day. Well, let's look at this thing.
thing here. A day passed 24 hours. 10% of that 24 hours, well, my math is teaching me here, means 2.4 hours. 2.4 hours is 10% of one day's work. The question is, how are you using that time frame? Now, notice we have some say, if I can just make it 2.4 hours, then my work is done. Not true. Not true. What if God should stop blessing you after 2.4 hours? Amen. 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 Then we went a little further. A week has 168 hours in it. Ten percent of that. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Sixteen point eight hours. One week. That means there should be some time for Bible study, Sunday school, WMU, clothing ministry. Wait a minute, now you going to look you for me. <laughs> 16 hours in that one month should be set aside for the law. That's just an average work. I got some people who got average works. <laughs> then I have to look a little closer and say, what about a month? A month has 720 hours in it. <laughs> if you are doing 31 days, because somebody wants to see if I'm right. Okay. It's 744 hours. 10% of that 30-day time frame should be 72 hours. Third week, 72 hours. 31 days should be 74.4 hours. Some of y'all ought to check that out. <laughs> Doing something for the Lord. I'm always 
press that when we have WMU, we can find everything else to do except come to WMU. Amen. 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 We got to do flowers. We got to do yard work. That's only one day out of the day. We give you a calendar so you know what day. What happened is the Lord should come up and catch you with your work done. Mm -hmm. What excuse can you offer him then? It's amazing that all the people we have, when we have, in the church, and the church is full of women who are the backbone of the church. Somebody can't get go to Korea at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Oh, he bored me now. You mean, got to mean that when you join the church, you become a servant. A servant means you serve, not be served. Amen. You serve, not be served. There is a time and place for all things. If you want people to show you honor, show you love, you got to put in your work. Are you listening to me? You have to realize this more than God is simply telling you, even when he walked her, the first thing he said, I come to serve, not be served. Point number two. Show love and appreciation to others by practicing hospitality. Show love and appreciation to others by practicing Hospitality. Hospitality simply means you know how to, you want to treat others as you want them to treat you. Let your words be your action. You can walk around all day and tell everybody you're a Christian. But if there's no work, no action, you're speaking in vain. Actions must be actions of love and appreciation. Imagine, if you would, if you were the president of an auxiliary, a director of an auxiliary, the people came out and supported you, helped you. For whatever reason, you're not president no more. Why don't you show up? What happened? We have too many fashions and cliques in the world. There should be none in the house of God. Amen. Show love and appreciation to others by serving them. Quit expecting more. Look at somebody say, quit expecting more. Quit expecting more. I'm going to give you a dollar because I want two back. Quit expecting more. You, I found out, and I praise God, you'll never be disappointed if you don't expect nothing. Amen. Are you listening to me? You will never be disappointed if you don't expect nothing. I say that because a lot of times when I see past appreciation, my birthday, whatever it takes, I look at it as a golden deal. If something happens, it happens. If not, don't worry about it. Because one thing I found out in life that everyone don't love you. Amen. Oh, it got Amen. quiet now. Amen. You have to understand that. We must show one another we appreciate them. We love them. We join the church because we want to be part of the body. Christ says, simply if you love me, keep my commandment. What is the greatest commandment? That you love one another. As I'm you. Three. Let's ask God to help us appreciate those strange and different people we deal with daily. Amen. Let us ask God to help us to appreciate those strange and different people we deal with daily. Now, you know, if you look at yourself and say, I'm strange <laughs> and I'm different, that puts all of us in a category. Amen. All of us in here 
according to the word of God, have faults and fell short of his glory. The deal is how to deal with your faults. Amen. Amen. There are sometimes we have to love one another with a law and a spoon. But it does not mean that I will not speak to you. I will not smile with you. I will not help you if necessary. It means that I need to be cautious around you. Look at somebody say, you need to be cautious around me. You need to be cautious around me. Because some days I flip. Oh, look at somebody. He want to talk to me like this. <laughs> but your actions speak louder than words. There are some days we can laugh at ourselves that we get so mad at something or someone that we even look in the mirror and talk to ourselves. <laughs> First of all, we have to understand God loves us despite our deficiencies. They fight our faults. Who else can love us the way he loves us? But in the meantime, we must learn how to practice being hospitality. Hospitable is the word. Being there if someone needs you. Caring for someone. If you are sick, isn't it good to know if someone's praying for you? Amen. Amen. Isn't it good to know someone thinking of you? The Bible tells us, point blank, that we, as a people of God, should be at peace among ourselves. We should be willing to help one another anytime there's a need. We should always know that we pray together to God against the forces of evil. All of us in here have good days. Bad days. First of all, it's not just the job of the pastor to tell you when you're wrong. It's the job of the church. Your brothers and sisters. And if they're really your brothers and sisters, if you tell them, they may get upset, but they'll come back. We have to realize sometimes we need to steal away and listen to what someone said to us. Not all criticism is bad criticism. Sometimes we have to be criticized so that we can find out we're not perfect. Are you listening to me? If you tell a young lady every day she's beautiful, she's gorgeous, vanity is going to kick in. Because she didn't expect that everybody else to tell her the same thing. There are times you have to tell your children, look, you're not always going to win. But it's how you play the game. We must bear and forbear. In other words, forgive and forget. Well, I'll forgive. I ain't forget. <laughs> if you have not forgiven. We must be long suffering. Keep down anger. There are some people who love to push your buttons. And you oblige them when you get your button pushed and you respond. <laughs> I was once told by Big Mama, praise God. She said, son, if you pick up a rock and you see a pack of dogs, you will never know what dog you hit till the one jump up the hollow. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Some of us can't grudge too long. Our feelings on our sleeves. We must remember that we are all imperfect people. Look at somebody say we ain't perfect. Yes. But isn't it wonderful to know that God loves yes. imperfect people? Amen. First of all, we have to encourage each other, our leaders that are poor and old people. A quote from a person. At times our own light goes out and is rekindled by a spark from another person. Each of us has caused us to think with deep gratitude of those who have lit the flame within us. Alex Worth spoke that. This was anonymous. Encourage people, encourage people, achieve the best. Dominant people, a 
achieve this little best. Second best, excuse me. Neglected people achieve the least. Good work, encouraging words, help us make it through the day. Speak encouragement, speak life to your family, your children. Amen. Baby, I love you. I can't wait till you get back home. In this day and time, those are powerful words. For you don't realize and don't know the time that you live in. It may be the last time that you see somebody. It is a shame to appreciate all your life and take for granted. In other words, look at somebody say, don't take me for granted. Today you may see me. Tomorrow you may not. Don't give me my flowers when I can't smell them. Talk to me about things I know I need encouragement on now. Lift me up when I need see me falling down. Don't talk about me. Talk with me. Amen. Treat people as if they were ought to be. Treat people as if they what they ought to be. And help them to become what they are capable of being. Jonathan one man. Promise yourself to be just as enthusiastic about success of others as you are about your own. Christian loss on the back. See, when I see that you achieve, <coughs> I achieve. When we work together, we work together. We stand back. Unity is in strength. Amen. Encouragement is in words of encouragement. The story reminds me about a true story. Whether it's true or not, and who wrote it, I don't know. But it seems to me that a young woman had a daughter, and the daughter got sick with fever. And she was at work. She left the work, her job, and she stopped at the pharmacy. Well, when she stopped at the pharmacy, she was in trying to get what she needed. She called the baby to say, how's she doing? She's getting worse. The mother was sympathetic. She was furious. She was curious. She wanted to know. She was nothing she could do. And of all things, praise God, when she got the medicine, she got to the car and found out she locked the keys inside the car. She said, Lord, how much more can I bear? Lord, why am I going through what I'm going through? And she went back in and asked the pharmacy for some help. He said, well, here's a clothes hanger. Maybe this might help. Maybe you can jig the door. She got out because she didn't have no experience in that field. So y'all smile at that. <laughs> she wiggled and she wiggled, but she couldn't make it work. Rain was steady on her. She cried out to the Lord again, Father, how much more? About that time, a big old truck drove up. Guy got out, hair on down to his back, beard all in touch. Tattoos all over the place. She said, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> she just looked at it. And she said, simply, because she had no recourse. She said, Sir, can you help me? My keys are locked inside the truck. He said, Okay. With a few seconds, he waited, it was through. She said, Lord, thank you. She looked at him, she said, Thank you, sir. You're such a good person. And she looked at it, she said, I'm not a good person, man. I just got out of prison and I was in prison for hijacking cars. <laughs> she closed her eyes and looked up to the Lord. She said, Thank you, Father. You sent me a professional. <laughs> <laughs> you never know who somebody is. Amen. You have to remember you can entertain angels yeah. other way. God has a way of putting people in your way. It's how you carry yourself. If you are full of racism, you're going to miss the boat. If you've got hatred in your heart, you're going to miss the point. But you got to realize this morning that God says only the pure in heart shall see him. We have to remember that we're strangers passing through this land. And all of us in here need a heaven hand. Colossians 3 and 16 tells us simply that the word of Christ dwell in you richly 
in all wisdom, teaching and admonition one another in psalms and hymns, spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord God. My dear brothers in Christ, always be joyful. Teach and teach other people that a smile is better than a frown. Never stop praying. Remember the Father hears your cry. Pray without ceasing. Whatever happens, give thanks because it's God's will. Amen. In Christ Jesus, because all things are through him and for him. May not be what you expect it to be. May not be what you want it to be. But know that God is always working it out for your good. Amen. Don't put out the spirit fire. You remind yourself like David. Even in the midst of trial and tribulation, I will bless the Lord at all times, regardless of my circumstances, regardless of what I'm going through. I know God is on my side. Amen. Don't despise what God has revealed. If he said it, he meant it. Don't sugarcoat it. Don't water it down. My people perish for the lack of knowledge. You've got to continue to tell them if God says it's wrong, it's wrong. If God never changes, he tells us, I'm the same God yesterday. I'll be today and I'll be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Instead of always messing with these devils, learn to test the spirit. Look at somebody say, test the spirit. Test the spirit. Test everything. Hold on to what is good. Don't be listening to all of that and this and that. This is how we make money. There is good money and there's bad money. Oh, no. Everything that shine, not gold. You can work 80 hours a week, but if you don't put God first, your money falling through the hole. Oh, you want to talk about taking my money now. Oh, I don't want your money. First of all, God tells you for play back. Everything you have belongs to him. He's going to give it to you for temporarily. If you give back to him, he's going to bless you seven times. I wish I had a witness in here. You got to remember, your place ain't big enough for God. Oh, somebody. When God wants you to move, he wants you to move. Is he and he alone? He wants to tell you that I am your God and there is no other. Keep away from evil, every kind of evil. Come on, somebody. Don't get caught in the sham. Today, nothing but shams are going on. You've got to realize, don't let your guards down. Call it from the IRS, you owe money. You write big checks, trying to stop them from taking your money. Somebody on the other side laughing on their way to the bank with your money. you got to realize this morning, people practice evil. They plan these things. You have to understand they're trying to steal your money. And they're trying to put you out of business. But you've got to put yourself back in God's hand and be led by the Spirit of God. Yes, yes, hallelujah. Don't let your God down. First of all, you've got to know this morning what God has for you is for you. Think of somebody say, it's mine. It's mine. Amen. Amen. All mine. Because when Christ died on Calvary Cross, he gave you eternal life. Amen. And then with eternal life, you got to remember this morning that you got a hope that's not made by hands. It's going to get hard sometimes. But we've been made endure for a night. But y'all are going to come in the morning. You're going to have some ups and some downs. But keep your hands in God's unchanging hands. Walk the way God intended for you to walk. Walk with your head up right. Don't let the healing know that he struck a blow. You tell him right now, I know I'm a child of the king. I got a God to glorify. I got a God that sits high and looks low. He can do everything except fail. Look at somebody tell us how to live. I'm a winner. And you got to believe that. I'm a winner. Amen. I'm a winner. I win because God has already won it for me. May God bless you. And may have a smile for you.
You've got to remember this morning. All that you're going through, and all that you will go through, you're working for the Lord. Don't let your work get in vain. I always remember one thing that always caught me, taught me a lesson. A little old church I was at one time. A little old lady mother, she always cried out, preaching, preaching. She would always cry out, I got to work. I looked at her and I said, what do I keep you saying? I got to work. And then she, he would go into another part of the sermon and she would scream out, why is dead? And I asked the pastor, I said, pastor, why do you keep crying out in a sermon like that? And he looked at me and said, I should have been preaching about that. Somebody needs to know you need to be work. Why is day? For the night is coming when no man can work. What do that mean? You need to work and give your life to Christ while you are living. When death comes, there's no more work. Nothing can be said or done. Nothing can be said or done. All those excuses that you offered are fruitless. I'm saying to you this morning, get back on the job. Amen. Need to see you in Bible study. Oh, he thought, oh, he thought he got that. Day. <laughs> need to be in Sunday school. Need to be about closing ministry. You need to be all these things that God has called you to do. And I say it with no hesitation. Treat others. Respect others. Like you want to be respected. Amen. 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 Work it for the Lord. I mean, if I don't show up, you ain't working for me. Amen. You need to be about your father's business. Amen. You gotta get an amen on amen. 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 It's not about what I did. It's about what you did. Amen. 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 I'm working on a bill. I work on a bill. A true foundation. Work on a bill. Amen. 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 God bless you. And may have a smile on kind of you. Amen. Those that are watching my media, we pray to you this work. Get on the job. Go find a church. Go to work in it. And if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, this opportunity now for you to accept him. As you buy your gifts, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Forgive me, Father God, for I have sinned that fell short of your glory. Now, Father God, I accept you. Accept your son, Jesus Christ. For he is your son. Yes. And I believe, Father God, with my heart that I, I accept him. I will have everlasting life. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Working for the Lord.